we're hoping for the best and continue to stay strong. We feel like we're going to be strong when we come out of this on the other side. Unemployment numbers here in the basin are seeing a slight improvement. But experts say it's still not where we want to be. ABC Big 2's John Kim joins us all now to break it down. Good evening, John. Well, it's no secret the coronavirus pandemic has directly impacted the unemployment rates here in Milan and Odessa. And while we're seeing an improvement since March, experts say that the second wave of COVID-19 that we're seeing now is directly impacting those numbers to go back up. We're hoping for the best and continue to stay strong. We feel like we're going to be strong when we come out of this on the other side. Thousands of Texas families flocking to food banks. Millions of Americans still filing for unemployment benefits. Signs and sounds like these aren't foreign to folks in Midland, Odessa. Locally, we lost about 25,000 jobs, and, you know, it's just devastating to our workforce. Midland seeing 8.1% in unemployment. It's an improvement from 22% back in March, but far from numbers around 2.5% in years past. Turnaround is going to have a different meaning to us in the Permian Basin. You know, the, the petroleum industry was the hardest hit. So I think we're looking more in terms of two years. The main thing right now is for it to stop getting worse. The biggest impact on Midland's economy is and will always be the oil industry. The best indicator is to look at the number of active drilling rigs. There were 140 before the pandemic, which fell to 99 and currently sits at 119. So there is improvement, but we've got a long way to go to get back where we were in 2019. City of Odessa facing 9.9% in unemployment compared to 2% this time last year. Wesley Burnett says it may take a vaccine to turn things around. Uh, we think that's going to be a game changer and get our uh, economy back going. Uh, we think that's going to get people more comfortable with travel and that's going to be a big impact on our economy getting the uh, oil and gas folks back when people start getting back on airplanes and driving and doing more things that are normal. Both Carngyle and Burnett say reaching the new normal is crucial. Sales tax revenue that's where the cities get their money. So, you know, if people aren't spending as much money, there's not enough, as much money for government to work, to supply hospital services and schools and things like that, keep our roads uh, free of potholes. So, you know, there is a direct impact for everyone when there's unemployment in the area. Now, Cargill says one of the benefits of high unemployment numbers is a good pool of talented people to draw from. He hopes it will bring the industry to our area and help capitalize on our local talent. Reporting in Odessa, I'm Gian Kim, ABC Beak 2 News.